For the third time, Donald Trump's rivals for the Republican presidential nomination took to the debate stage on November 8 in his absence, seeking a way to dislodge the former president from his commanding lead in opinion polls, while contenders such as Florida Governor Ron DeSantis and former UN Ambassador Nikki Haley briefly criticized Trump, the five candidates largely trained their fire on Democratic President Joe Biden, particularly during a lengthy segment on foreign policy and the Israel-Hamas conflict. The Republicans all pledged unconditional support for Israel and assailed Biden's handling of the crisis, asked what message they would send to Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, DeSantis said, I will be telling Bibi, finish the job once and for all with these butchers Hamas, they're terrorists, using Netanyahu's nickname. The only thing we should be doing is supporting them and eliminating Hamas. The founding vision of Israel was based on the idea that they don't want to depend on anybody else's sympathy or direction in defending themselves. So what I would tell Bibi is that Israel has the right and the responsibility to defend itself. I would tell him to smoke those terrorists on his southern border, and then I'll tell him as President of the United States, I'll be smoking the terrorists on our southern border. I would tell President Biden with great clarity if you want to stop the 40 plus attacks on military personnel in the Middle East, you have to strike in Iran. If you want to make a difference, you cannot just continue to have strikes in Syria on warehouses. You actually have to cut off the head of the snake and the head of the snake is Iran and not simply their proxies. Israel and their intelligence community failed. They failed here and they failed the people of the state of Israel. And so we need to work closely and better together to make sure, one, that they're degraded, and two, that we know everything that's going on inside the Gaza Strip, when it's going on, so that something like this can't happen. Any campus that allows for anti-Semitism and hate, to allow students to encourage terrorism, mass murder, mass murder and genocide, you should lose your federal funding today, period. If you are here on a student visa as a foreign national, you're making common cause with Hamas, I'm canceling your visa and I'm sending you home. No questions asked. So no Republican president can ban abortions any more than a Democrat president can ban these state laws. So let's find consensus. Let's agree on what, how we can ban late-term abortions. Let's make sure we encourage adoptions and good quality adoptions. Let's make sure we make contraception accessible. Let's make sure that none of these state laws put a woman in jail or give her the death penalty for getting an abortion. Let's focus on how to save as many babies as we can and support as many moms as we can and stop Thank the you, judgment. Ambassador. We don't need to divide America over this issue anymore. Thank you, Ambassador.